Okay, everyone, let's continue on section three, enabling connectivity in ACI. Interface policy groups, profiles, and policies. Okay, everyone, in interface policy groups, profiles, and policies, we have a scenario that I would like to start practicing, and I would like for you to become very familiar with it because everything in ACI relates into objects. So it's all about connecting those objects together to build your policies, right? So when we configure interfaces in ACI, first of all, completely different the way that we're used to, like going over an interface and typing switch port trunk, allow VNANs or switch port access, and so on. So the way that we configure an interface in ACI is by creating three objects. First object, that we are going to create is every single attribute that the interface will have. So let's say we want to configure a trunk port, right? We want to allow or enable the port to exchange CDP information. We can also say let's exchange LDP information. We can say, well, this interface, Ethernet 1.1 and Leaf 1 will have CDP enabled. We'll also have LLDP and it's going to run at 10 gig per second. So we can hard code the speed on a particular interface. So those attributes that you see right here are called interface policies. The interface policy gets grouped into an interface policy group, which then by combining all the items into a policy group we can then apply it into an interface profile let's recap first item that you are gonna configure or create interface policy which then gets added into an interface policy group which then finally attaches into the interface profile Policy, policy goes to policy group, policy groups goes to interface profile. Got it? So this is the way that we configure in ACI an interface. Once we configure those attributes, we then on the profile assign the interface that we're going to be applying those particular parameters. Okay, understand? So let's take a look at what we have here. We have an interface policy group. It is called LAS. LAS stands for Las Vegas. Let's imagine we have our data center in Las Vegas. So we're labeling as LAS underscore interface one policy group. Inside this policy group, we have the following policies. So we want to make this interface to be part of a VPC. And for those who don't know what a VPC is, it's a virtual port channel. And this is on the Nexus platform, the way that you multi ether channel, so the way that you lag between two different switches for redundancy, in this case, between two different leaves, is by a virtual port channel. By doing this, or in order for us to go ahead and configure this VPC, we have to add that type of interface. And this is one way of doing it or this is one design. Another way is a traditional port channel in which we're aggregating two interfaces and making them as one by bundling them together. And you already know this. Interface policy group, same data center. Interface two, policy group. This is the amount of policy groups that I have. So this is for interface two. This is for interface one. Why I am labeling this way so I can know which interface I'm going to be working with. And obviously this is just an example. Naming is super important in ACI. It's very, very important that you probably name this because if you make a change to an, a wrong object, it might disrupt a lot of configurations that are attached to that object. So it's very, very, very important that you label or you name this properly. And in our second scenario, we have a port channel and the port channel has a policy group of LAS, that's the name, interface two policy group, which then has the following policies. Remember, 
interface policy, we configure those objects first. There, by default, in ACI, you're going to have some default for each one. But if you want to make customs because you want to label them differently or you want to build a custom policy object, then you can go ahead and do it. And we're going to do it on this particular video. So again, we create the policies for those interfaces. We then attach the policy by creating a group and then adding those policies inside the group, which finally then gets applied into the interface profile, which the interface profile will contain the actual interface. So in this case, I have an interface policy group. This policy group interface two is a port channel interface, which we want to negotiate LACP as our port channel protocol or as our link aggregation control protocol. We build a policy. We attach the policy into the policy group. And finally, we attach this into the interface profile. Okay, so let's go ahead and do this scenario. We have to do something before we can configure this for a VPC type of interface, meaning that I have to build a virtual VPC domain in ACI so those two leaves can allow member VPC interfaces. So we have to configure a virtual port channel domain. So let's go ahead and do that first. We then are going to configure the attributes and we're going to build this VPC. In this case, I'm just reflecting a switch. This can be a server. This can be anything that requires this type of connectivity. We can go ahead and allow it. Okay, so on the web interface, on the APEC GUI, let's go onto Fabric. Let's go onto Access Policies. And let's first build that VPC domain. If we want to configure VPC interfaces, like you saw on the slide, we have to first configure the VPC domain. And after that, you can make as many VPC interfaces as you want. So the first thing we got to do, and don't worry, our next video, we're going to cover the switch policies and profiles. So we want to go into the policies themselves. You can see here we have a policy on our switches because we want to make a VPC between the two. We want to make a VPC domain between those two leaves. So obviously it's going to be under the switch policies. The VPC domain will have a default object that has a peer debt interval of 200 milliseconds. But then we need to use this object into our port channel for leaf one and leaf two. So let's go ahead and under, again, switch policies, policies, and let's go to virtual port channel default. We are going to make that VPC protection group, or it's basically the VPC domain or between those two leaves. Add name. So you see, we click the plus sign here, and now we have the option menu. Let's go ahead and create that VPC explicit protection group name vpc and let's call leaf one leaf 101 to leaf 102 so this is basically the name of this particular vpc domain the id because it's our first vpc domain let's label it as id one and the policy remember we're just going to use that default policy that we saw there and let's select our leaf switches id 101 switch one id 102 switch two and we press submit and voila we have our domain and basically it's attaching those two devices together. So now let's go ahead and build that interface policy, create an interface policy group, add all of our policies onto that group, and then finally attach it to the profile. Let's go ahead and do it. Go into interface policies, and we want to remember our slide. We want to enable CDP. So let's create our custom CDP by right-clicking, interface policies, expand policies, and then we want to select CDP interface, right click, create CDP interface policy. Let's go ahead. Let's say we want to enable. So let's label this as enable. And admin state, this is the actual setting. It's going to be enabled. Click submit. So now we have our object, CDP interface. Next, we want to make a VPC. This port channel policy will be LACP. So we want to create an LACP a VPC interface. And basically, what the options are suspend individual graceful convergence and fast select hot standby ports and you can add all their options but by default it's LACP active and this will be my port channel policy if you see the only available object is the default which is static channel there's no LACP so we had to build a new object for it so now we got CDP we got LACP active okay so now that we have those objects built on our policies on interface policies now we got those particular policies created Let's build the policy group and add those objects into the group. Go ahead now. Let me expand. Let me go ahead and shrink 
policies. Let's add policy groups. And then you have two options. You have leave policy groups and spine policy groups. We're going to make the leave policy group because we're connecting, we're configuring ports on the leaves. So let's go ahead and expand leave policy groups and let's select what type of policy group do we want? Our first configuration is going to be a VPC interface policy group. So let's right click, select VPC interface policy group. And let's go ahead and label this and say VPC. What was the name? LAS underscore INT1 poll group. Okay, so we got the name LAS underscore INT1 underscore policy group based on our slide. Now we're going to select those objects. CDP enable and we have the port channel policies. In this case, LICP active. That is basically it. Once we have that, let's go ahead and save the configurations. Let's go ahead and click submit. And now we have our policy group and we have CDP enabled and LICP active. Okay, so now finally, we need to attach this into the leaf profile. And remember, this is where we selected that type to be a VPC. Now under the profile, we attach the policy group. Okay, policy group. After you build the policies, add them into the policy group by creating the object and adding the policies on it. Then finally, use this policy group to be attached when you create your profile. So in this case, a leaf profile, right click, create leaf interface profile, and we're going to say VPC LAS int one profile, because we build the policy group interface one. Now we build the profile and now we're going to select that interface. And on our slide, it was Ethernet one one. So let's go ahead and click the plus sign. And let's say Ethernet 1.1 as our interface. And by the way, it does not allow the forward slash. So I just put a dash here. Interface ID, this is where you actually put that interface label 1.1. And now we attach our policy group. Select our policy group and press OK. Now we got the profile. And now we should be good to go and enable this on the switch policies, which will be on our next video. Let's do real quick the Port channel, the second one. Let's view it again. Our port channel is going to have normal or straightforward port channel, not a VPC, just a port channel. But in this case, we're going to add 11 and 12 onto the port channel to be attached only on leaf one. Okay. So the type is basically the same port channel, LACP, CDP. And in this case, we're just going to select one and two on the interface selector inside the interface profile. Okay. Real quick, let's build that new policy group. You know what? Now you see, because I already built those objects, I can reuse them. So I don't need to rebuild them again. The policies are already built. The CDP interface object is already there. I can reuse it. So that's a good thing. At the beginning, yes, you're going to be configuring a lot of stuff. But once you have everything configured, you just reuse those objects. So it makes the configuration easier. So in this case, I don't need to worry about the policies. I already have them. Policy group, let's build that new policy group. In this case, it's not going to be a VPC. It's going to be a port channel. So like here, and let's say, LAS interface two policy group CDP policy enabled port channel policy LACP active go all the way to the we'll press save and we'll press submit okay so now we got the two policy groups one for the VPC and one for the port channel let's go on to the profiles and we're going to make another profile in this case will be for interface two and you see how I'm labeling it? So I know which one attaches to which one. If you don't have that type of indicator, it's going to be very hard for you to understand which one goes to which. So again, naming is very important in ACI. Very, very important. Interface selectors. Now we're going to say Ethernet 1 through 2. Okay? So we're saying 1, 1, 2, 2. Or we can say Ethernet 1 and Ethernet 2. I think it's better. It's better this way. So we know it's one and ports one and two. Interface ID. And this is where we actually attach that interface, but then we can do a range. So if you see here, ACI, the APIC tells you what options can you use as far as ranges. In this case, we're just going to do one, one dash two. So now we're attaching two interfaces. Finally, policy group, boom, attach our second policy group for this particular interface profile. Press OK and submit. Boom. Now we got. The first profile, which is the VPC connecting on port one on both leaf one and leaf two. Interface profile two, it's attaching ports one and two to a port channel that will go to one leaf, in this case, leaf one. In our next video, we're going to create our switch policies, which is kind of similar. And we're going to attach the interface profiles and we're going to enable those ports.